planet Earth, home to over six billion people. Today, our very existence is threatened by epidemics, climate change, and dwindling resources. But those are the least of our problems. I trained my whole life for this movie. Zombieland's a movie about a bunch of survivors in the post-apocalyptic zombie world who basically band together because they don't have much else to do. Welcome to Zombieland. It's like a greatest hits collection of nightmares. You take a badass kind of guy and a nerdy kind of guy they're paired up together and they go on a journey. Here's the deal, Columbus. I'm not easy to get along with. Whoa! Hey! I'm sensing you're a bit of a bitch. My character, Columbus, is obsessive about survival. <laughs> So he makes this list of 47 rules of how to survive Zombieland. Rule number one for surviving Zombieland, cardio. For obvious reasons, the first ones to go were the fatties. My second rule, the double tap. In those moments when you're not sure the undead are really dead dead, don't get all stingy with your bullets. This lady could have avoided becoming a human Happy Meal. It's about people who have very different survival strategies. Uh, one is the most frightened person in the world. One is probably the bravest person in the world. Come here, big fella. Just gonna take a little off the top. Yeah. And then the two sisters have long preyed on the world. Just drive slow. Keep your eyes peeled. They're in the back, aren't they? Just me. Oh. She was like a crouching tiger. Bomber. You got taken hostage by a 12-year-old. Well, girls mature faster than boys. The makeup that they have the zombies in are so scary. <laughs> Don't let them catch you with your pants down. Rule number three, beware of bathrooms. You kind of get an adrenaline rush when you're being chased by 25 people and bleeding and drooling. <laughs> Go! A lot of stunt work, a lot of zombie killings. Don't swing, don't swing! Swing! I think a real tricky one was the little kid's birthday party. As zombies began to outnumber humans, well, that's when you had to cut all emotional ties. If the girls in your neighborhood are now little monsters, well, maybe it's time to stop driving carpool. And then secondly, it called for the woman driving the car to get fired at the front windshield in one shot. Set. By introducing fast zombies, we decided they added a little bit more of a threat. But we didn't really set out to pay homage. We wanted to make something that was different and something that, that stood alone and apart. If you're in a post-apocalyptic world and you can go anywhere or do anything, um, what are you going to do? Yeah. Sometimes Tallahassee's right. You gotta enjoy the little things, even if that means destroying a whole lot of little things. 
Anybody hungry? Uh, yeah, it was great to shoot at the amusement park. It also created this really wonderful environment to kind of have this game of running from the zombies. <laughs> I enjoy the little things. A little help? You were like a giant cock-blocking robot, like developed in a secret fucking government lab. That's what's neat about this movie is that while it's a comedy first and foremost, <laughs> I feel like we're making something a little bit more cinematic than your average comedy. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Time to nut up or shut up. My mother always told me, someday you'll be good at something. I don't think she could have guessed that that something would be zombie killing. I haven't cried like that since Titanic. You guys want some Purell? Yes. Okay. Yeah.